Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So last week I made a video talking about my own personal struggles with anxiety and depression and I said I was going to give advice in this video. So today I really just wanted to take the time to really tell you guys exactly what I did to get better and some of the things that I really implemented into my life that changed my view on the world drastically. And I'm not saying that this will change your entire life, but I'm saying that it does help to implement little things that can make a big difference. So stick around for this video. <laughs> Originally, I was terrified of telling people or reaching out to people about my problems. I thought that by reaching out, I would be bringing negative energy into their lives, and I didn't want anyone else to feel the same way that I felt, so I kept it all in. But that is one of the worst things that you can do. If you have depression or if you have anxiety, reach out to people and talk to people. I realized that after a long struggle by myself, I didn't think that anyone would understand or anyone would be there for me until I started reaching out to people. When I started to do that, it really changed my perception of conquering my anxiety and conquering my depression because I had a team of people that really helped me through it. And before that, I thought that nobody cared. But it was because my mind kept putting this wall that wouldn't let anybody else into my problems because I wanted to push everyone away. And opening up to people is really hard. Opening up is probably one of the most difficult things that you can do. But it's also something that you need to do if you're planning to get better. You have to open up to people and talk to people because if you're constantly keeping it inside you and never letting it out, it'll always be tearing you down. So if you can, do it little by little. Open up to some friends, some family, and even go to a therapist. People talk so badly about therapy or think it's this wrong thing, but honestly it's one of the best things that you can do for your mental health. And really, mental health is a big problem and opening up and showing other people that talking about it is cool is so amazing because you can be an advocate. Other people will see you as a person that opened up, so now they they can open up. It's really a cycle that you create by just being vulnerable for one second. So that's something that I started to do and really it changed my perception on everything. And if you're not to the point where you can open up to other people because it is scary, I understand. One thing you can do is write in a journal. Write about your problems, write about solutions, write about ways that you're working towards your dreams, your goals. I have a daily affirmations journal where I write down everything that I'm working towards and I write down why I'm a badass at life and why I can accomplish everything I put my mind to. It's really helped me in changing my perception of life and really giving me something to look forward to every morning so I can write down what I'm doing that day, why I can accomplish it, and why the negative energy is not going to get to me this day. Another thing that I've definitely done is surround yourself with positivity. Put positive signs on your walls. Do everything you can to create an environment that is happy and positive. If you're surrounding yourself with negativity, you're never going to get better because negative energy is always going to infiltrate your life. You need to surround yourself with positive people, positive of affirmations and just positive words all around you. That's something that I've done and I wake up every day and I read those signs and realize I can do anything. I am the boss of my own life. So that's what you gotta do. Just surround yourself with positivity and positivity will come to you. And another thing is tell yourself that just because right now is difficult doesn't mean the rest of the day will be. I used to always say today sucks and it's gonna suck. And yes, it's gonna suck because you are putting that energy out. Because you're not putting out the energy that deserves positivity. Now, if I'm saying today sucks, I say it might suck right now, but every moment you have is the ability to change anything in your life. As for anxiety, one of the biggest things is take deep breaths. Just take a moment to relax, breathe in, breathe out, and you will feel so much better. And I know it's cheesy, it's easy. Forget about all the negative energy, all the negative things in your life, and just breathe. One definite thing that helps me is going for a walk. Sometimes just getting out of the house where it's dark and gloomy and getting into the sunlight and getting your energy up really does change a lot about your mindset and change a lot about your feelings throughout the day. I make sure to go on a walk every single day because it helps me to really enjoy the world as it's meant to be and not be in my mind so much. And again, write down what you're anxious about. It helps, I promise. Another thing is let your mind rest. Close your eyes and just sit. Meditate a little bit if that helps you. Just for a minute, close your eyes, rest your eyes, rest your mind. Don't let all these things clouding your mind dictate your world. And again, if none of these things work, never be afraid to reach out to a friend, an internet person, me. I am here for you and so are so many people in your world, in your life. All of these things are good ways to really change your mindset and change the way you view the world. A lot of it rests on the way that we let things impact ourselves. Sometimes you can let the world get you down, but the way I look at it, 
you have the choice and the chance to perceive everything yourself. If something bad happened, you can take it negatively or you can take it as a lesson. I say take it as a lesson and learn from it and keep growing. That's what it's all about. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got a little bit out of it. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much. See you guys next time. Roger that. Don't you want to let, let hopefully